Hello, this is a video on the icosahedron. This is the fifth video of five videos in the Platonic Solid series. In this series, I'm introducing you to the five Platonic Solids. Here we have the icosahedron, and you'll notice that it is made up of equilateral triangles. There are 20 equilateral triangles, and kind of an interesting way of counting those is if you think of this as maybe the North Pole up here, there are five triangles coming down from the North Pole and then down here at the South Pole we have five triangles coming up from the bottom. So there's five there and five here. And then around the middle we have a belt of 10 more triangles making a total of 20 triangles. Here we have another rendering of the icosahedron at the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. And here we just have the wire frame. And here you can kind of see, once again, the, the five triangles at the North Pole, five triangles at the South Pole, and the, the ten triangles around the, the belt here. What I'm going to be doing now is forming the dual of the icosahedron. To form a dual, we take the midpoint of each face. So each of these triangular faces, imagine a midpoint there. And then whenever two faces are adjacent, we connect those midpoints. So this orange shape is the dual. Remember, we had five triangles coming down from the top, which means there are five midpoints. And so therefore, the dual is going to have a pentagon at the top. It's going to have a pentagon at the bottom. And then there's going to be five pentagons around kind of the middle of it. The dual of the icosahedron is the dodecahedron. And as you can imagine, if we take the dual of the dodecahedron, we should get the icosahedron, and in fact, we do. Now let's take a look at some questions. The icosahedron is made up of 20 triangles. The degree of each vertex is 5, which means 5 faces meet at a vertex and 5 edges meet at a vertex. Please pause the video now and answer these questions. Try to systematically count or have reasons for your numbers rather than just counting individual edges or vertices. I hope you enjoy learning more about the icosahedron, which is a wonderful shape. If you'd like to move on from the platonic solids, I encourage you to find my videos on the Archimedean solids. Have a great day.